you have a shelf full of half-empty paint cans in your garage or basement, you are not alone. It turns out that 10% of all paint that is sold goes unused. I'm included in that group. That <laughs> translates to about a pound of waste paint for each of us every year. But there's a way to get rid of it and keep it out of the landfill. A drive through recycling event next weekend at ESM High School is accepting paint for the first time. Mo Harrington O'Neill is communications director for Assemblyman Al Sturpey. And Robert Burns is with Sun King, whose electronic waste recycling event is next Saturday. Good morning to you both. And uh, Robert, let's start with you. I, I know that you, you've done uh, events like this in the past. You're going to be able to include paint for the first time tell us about it yeah we've done events like this but never anything exactly like this and you guys have had video on there you guys have shown up to events and thousands of other people out in central uh, new york and in syracuse have shown up to these events mainly they're for electronics ones that you're not using anymore ones that are either broken or they're just laying around that and don't have much use for you uh that's where we'll normally take those you can see those are our trucks that are lying out there there's the assemblyman who's helping us out with this particular event and 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 very pivotal in the way that we're doing it now we're allowed and able to bring in a partner that's going to take home paint from people that you have lying around your house. If you have cans um, that you, you know, did the baby's room in, did the garage, like the paint cans I have on this table here with me, uh, these are from my house in my garage that have not been used in a while. So it's about time to move on from them. And so this is going to be a great way for you to really clean out even more space from your home take more space back, but also, you know, be able to do the right thing and the more responsible thing with not only these devices, but also this unused paint as well. So I guess I'll ask Mo, Robert, this may be a question for you, so feel free to come back at me, but what kind of paints can you take? Is it all kinds? Well, it's mostly home paint. Okay. Um, we can now, Robert has a couple of examples on his desk. So uh, we do not take spray paint. We do not take boat paint, things like that. But uh, most home paint and, you know, most homes have waste paint. So it is a huge environmental issue. Um, we're estimating about 15 million pounds a year in New York State. And so uh, in 19 or 2019, um, you know, Assemblyman Sturpey established the statewide paint recycling program in New York. And so this is just a wonderful way to, you know, uh, kind of piggyback on an already successful event with our recycling event where we collect you know, upwards of 300,000 pounds of electronics, uh, which would end up in a landfill otherwise. So we're really excited about this program. And I have to be honest with you, the community is really excited as well. So we were thinking that about 20 to 30% of the people that had registered for this event would be coming on to um, recycle paint and we're looking at 50 percent of the people that have registered who are going to be getting rid of that wasted paint that's sitting in their basement or their garages so the uh community is excited as well about this event and um it's a wonderful way to you know clean up the environment and just get rid of that waste and turn it into products and jobs so we're really excited uh, robert you know mo just said that that uh, this is the responsible thing to do. Um, why is this a responsible thing to do? Why is it so important to, to recycle in this way and how does it help the environment? Well, first thing you want to do is, is the best way to recycle is to make sure that things get moved along and used again. So one thing we do with our electronics, first thing we try to do is find out if they have extra life to them. Can we refurbish them? Can we move them to maybe a nonprofit, a school, or maybe a mom who doesn't need a, the top of the line iPad or what have you, but they can do something that has a little bit of use to it. Um, so that's the first thing that we try and do is make sure that they don't go into you know the landfills. They don't go into the waste stream you know traditionally when you think of landfills like that. So that's what we're doing with the electronics. With the paint, what Empire Recycled Paint is doing is really interesting. They're filtering out all the different colors and all the different types of paint that they're able to take, and they're recycling that paint to then be sold and reused again. So what you recycle at this event coming up next weekend can later on, maybe in a couple of months, be purchased again and, and used in someone else's home for a, a much of a, a cheaper price as well. So, you know, it's saving money, it's saving the environment, uh, but it's making use of the things that we're not using instead of just tossing them away. You guys know how much that can um, add up to, you know, at one point. You guys were talking about those, you know, those rings, those smart rings that they have out there earlier. Those are things that probably have a couple of years lifespan. You're not going to throw them in the trash, even though they're small. The right thing to do is to recycle them. And so make sure that we can maybe take those components out 
and push them along to either be reused or remade into something the same way that they're going to be doing with these paint cans as well. Uh, Mo, we're running out of time here. You got about 15, 20 seconds. Just let, let us know, do we do we need a reservation to take part in this event? Or, or are you just yeah, accepting Yeah, you should walkers? actually register for this event. So you can actually go to sunking.com slash residential to get an appointment for this. And you know, if it's sold out and we, we're looking forward to it being sold out because it's it's been very popular in the past and it, uh, we're seeing a lot of people just trying to get rid of their paint as well now. So we do have other options uh, for other free events coming up in the area. So please, you know, look at that. And if you've got a lot of paint that you that you want to get rid of, we also suggest that you check out the um, Empire uh, recycledpaint.com and what they can do is they've got a list of all of the drop-off sites in Onondaga County and so we we hope that people check that out as well. Uh, all right I'm adding this to my list of things to do for next weekend. I've got a <laughs> lot of pain in the basement that uh, that I think would be right up your alley. So thank you both for coming on and telling us all about the event. Again that recycling event next Saturday August 27th at East Syracuse Manoa High School, Fremont and Kirkville Roads in East Syracuse. It runs from 8 30 to noon it's free, but you must make reservations. As Mo mentioned, there are still slots available online at sunking with two ends.com.